up guys? So today we're going to be doing a challenge video. I am nervous. That's not my intro. I don't have an intro. Internet, it seems as if the YouTube community as we know it, or at least the one we always hear about, is slowly falling apart. Twitter the past few days has been completely outraged. I mean, who would have thought that the internet could be a veritable cesspit of bitching and whining and you know, no, yeah, yeah. hmm. So I have two points to talk about, really, and they're both sort of interconnected, in a way. So that works, so I'm going to start with one of them, and that is Summer in the City. So Summer in the City, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who think you know, but don't actually, is a YouTube community event run by the YouTube community for the YouTube community. Isn't it funny how that works? And whilst there are quite often a lot of big name YouTubers there, such as Dan is not on fire and Amazing Phil, meeting the big YouTubers is not designed to be the primary purpose of the event. If that is what you want to do when you are there, then that is completely acceptable, but the event is focused around community engagement and interaction and growth. That is what it always has been. And just because the events are bigger now, does not make that any different. The majority of the bitching seems to have been aimed at the price of the tickets this year. The thing is, a lot of the complaints last year were about how unsafe things were and about how things got a little bit out of hand. So the increased ticket prices mean that they can hire more security, which means that the event will be better run. Isn't it funny how that works? Without the postage and the service charges and whatever, one weekend ticket for Summer in the City cost about £34 if you bought the most recent batch, or 28 or 25 if you bought, like, previous batches. And I also paid about the same amount for my Fallout Boy ticket. And I mean, let's just compare this for a second. You have going to see Fallout Boy, who are very, very good, or you have going to Summer in the City, which is a big weekend event type thing. There is a lot of live music on a big massive stage at Alexandra Palace with like a lot of cool YouTubers who are good at the musics and the things and there are panels, there is an open mic room there are plenty of opportunities to meet your favourite YouTubers whether it be queuing up in the really hectic fangirly meet and greet queues or just seeing them wandering around and there are all of the other activities that the organisers put together for you last year the organisers of Summer in the City almost made a loss because of how much they were doing in comparison with how much they were charging for the tickets, which is why this year they were more, and no, they are not charging that much money because they want to line their pockets. As I said, Summer in the City is a YouTube community event, and any profit that was made last year is being funneled into making this year's event better. Tom, Liam, Luke, Jazza, and Dave have been literally planning this event since before the last one finished and everything they're doing, they're doing for the good of the community and just for the love of Batman Jesus stop having a go at them because if you don't want to go to somewhere in the city just don't go it's not their fault that they have to run an event and that means they have to take in money from the people who want to go to the event that's generally how things work. Also, because they are quite often overlooked, if you want to check out their YouTube channels, which are all very good, there are links in my utility belt. Hang on. <laughs> the second thing is that several YouTubers, and by YouTubers I mean the big name ones, that the people who watch YouTube consider to be YouTubers, several of these big name YouTubers have been getting a little too big for their boots, shall we say, and like the proverbial tale of Icarus, and, you know, more recently, Justin Bieber, they're flying a little bit close to the sun and they're gonna get burned. Some YouTubers have been requesting to be paid 
for going to somewhere in the city. No. No, that is not how it works. I don't know how many times I have to reiterate this. I'm pretty sure I said it a few at least in this video. But Summer in the City is a community event. Because at the core, you and I are exactly the same. We just have varying levels of crazy mad boss mega internet famousness. No matter how hard you try, you can only become successful if people appreciate what you do. Therefore, in return, you should appreciate them because you owe them your success. Pretty simple concept, really. This is an open letter to anybody who has ever made or ever plans to make a video and upload it to this website. Whether your name is Pointless Blog or I love One Direction, one, two, three. X. Oh. X. You must always, always respect where you came from. If I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it a thousand times. YouTube is a community, and it offers experiences that are not available in any other form of media because it is accessible to everybody. You can make friends, you can change people's lives, and you can be happy enjoying your life and making things that you love with people that you love. Yes, it is possible to earn money through YouTube. Yes, it is possible that you can earn enough money to live off of. But no, that is not the ultimate goal here. If you want to make enough money from YouTube to live off of so that you can keep creating YouTube videos and keep doing what you love, and contributing to the community in a positive way, then that is a really good thing, and I'm really happy for you. And if you can do that, then that is even better. You go, Glen Coco. However, if you're attempting to get big on YouTube, or if you are big on YouTube, and the end game is that you want to just line your pockets, and you're basically gonna cobble together a half assed video every week just because it'll keep your army of fangirls happy and you don't actually really care, but you know, you're famous now, so it doesn't matter, then that's not cool. See, your pseudo-celebrity status was established by a group of people, and you effectively owe these people everything that you are, and therefore disrespecting them in the way of, like, asking for money to go to Summer in the City is just not right. Because at its core, somewhere in the city is just a big building where a lot of cool people go to just be together. And, like, why would you want money to do that? Isn't just doing that enough? Just pick up a camera. Because if you have any sort of following, be it one subscriber or one million, then you should be making videos for, at the least, two core reasons. Number one, because you love doing it. And number two, because there are other people that love it when you do it. And that's just the crux of everything, really. Batman Jesus out. Hello, and welcome to the end screen. If you wish to talk to me, I'm a perfectly amicable gentleman, and there are various social media links in my utility belt. Also, just below that, there is a great big comment section where you can make your voice heard. If you like what you've seen, why not check out two of my other videos, which are going to be around this somewhere. And if you like those too, then why not subscribe to become a disciple? Do you see what was done there? DC, because Batman, and Disciple, because Jesus. Isn't that brilliant? Right. If you don't want to watch any further, then it's perfectly acceptable for you to go and do something else. So, just, just make a decision, just, just, you know, you can click something, or you can, you can go, you know, 